My name is Dr. Rose Jalango. I work with the Ministry of Health in Kenya. Every three to five years, countries accumulate a huge number of susceptible children who've not been vaccinated. So for Kenya specifically, especially after the COVID, we did have some children who were not reached with all the antigens, especially measles vaccine. So over time, we have these children whose immunity is low and are a group of susceptible. And that's why there have been reports of measles outbreaks in almost half the counties in Kenya. And for this reason, periodically, we conduct nationwide campaign to boost uh, the population immunity. So that's why we are doing measles rubella campaign. Then for the typhoid conjugate vaccine, this is a new vaccine that we are going to be introducing. The reason we're introducing it is we have local evidence that we have an issue with typhoid as one of the public health uh, problems in Kenya. And number two, it's one of those diseases that at the health facilities, it's treated quite often with antibiotics. As we are all aware, we have an issue of antimicrobial resistance, which is becoming a public health issue. With the introduction of typhoid conjugate vaccine into our health system, it means that we are not only going to protect our children against typhoid disease, but again, vaccines is going to be preventing antimicrobial resistance across the health system. There's been a lot of work with the Ministry of Health uh, taking the stewardship and a lot of support from our partners, WHO and our UNICEF, in terms of the technical support to put all the pieces together to be able to deliver a cartel. Then we do have Gavi the Vaccine Alliance that has also put investment in terms of funding, both for the procurement of the vaccine and facilitating the operational funds to be able to conduct the campaign. One of the challenges that we've had is that we were supposed to introduce this vaccine three years back, but again, because of global supply challenges from the manufacturer, we were unable to introduce the vaccines. Looking to the future, I know that once we are done with the campaign, we are going to be introducing the typhoid conjugate vaccine into a routine schedule. So every child who is nine months will be able to get the one jab of typhoid conjugate vaccine alongside um, measles rubella and yellow fever in selected parts of the country and malaria vaccine in other parts of the country. Number two, again, it's an opportunity to reduce the burden um, of typhoid uh, disease. We'll be working together with the research institutions like Cambridge to be able to measure the impact of introducing typhoid vaccine. And then number three, of course, we are going to be solving the issue of antimicrobial resistance because the um, chances of getting typhoid after being vaccinated are going to be reduced. So again, this vaccine is going to give us scope for a better future tomorrow.